Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is the larger book, number 293. 293, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. We start at verse 6. O come, O day spring from on high, and cheer us by your drawing nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadow put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we continue this fourth week of Advent at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Samuana and Nayak and Tran. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for His mercy, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion, Shout, O Israel, rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away judgment against you. He has turned your enemies away. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord, your God, is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exalt, you over, he will exalt over you with loud singing, as on a day of festival. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, cry out with joy to the Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord. Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. Cry out to joy with the Lord. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his hearts to all generations. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. Cry out to joy to the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Cry out with joy to the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come, Emmanuel, God's presence among us, 
our King and our Judge. Save us, Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. We once again hear of Elizabeth and Mary's encounter, which we heard in the Gospel of Sunday, and how we are called to recognize the presence of the Lord in our midst and to be filled with the same joy that Elizabeth experienced as she anticipated this beautiful encounter with her cousin Mary, but in her encounter with Mary, she finds Jesus. May we look to opportunities of grace in which we can bring Christ to others as well, and to always see through the lens of faith, so like Elizabeth, we recognize God's presence with us. Let us place our trust in the Lord as we offer our prayers to him for our needs and the needs of the world. Our response is, Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit may fill the Church with joy. At the coming of Christ this Christmas, we pray, Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray that God's wisdom may lead policymakers in their work of defending the sanctity and dignity of all life, we pray, Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray that God's comfort and abiding presence may fill the hearts of those who are lonely or depressed during the Christmas season, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our diocese, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray that Jesus may have a place in the hearts and homes of those of us who are gathered here, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Sam and Nayak, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon be welcomed into God's loving embrace, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. God our Father, please hear and answer our prayers according to your most holy will. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. 
My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Sam and Nayak, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Elizabeth, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that being subject to your glorious majesty and dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Our Advent journey continues. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. O come, O wisdom from on high, who ordered all things mightily, to us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. O come, O come, great Lord of might, who to your tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times did give the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. God bless you. Have a good day. Jackie and Millie, can I see you for a moment? <laughs>